So how exactly are you supposed to store your sleeping bags? Stay tuned for some of my tips. What's going on guys, this is Birds, and today we're gonna to talk about the proper way to store your sleeping bags. This is the best way. Wait for it, wait for it, people screaming, people shouting at the screen. Yeah, this is not how you store your sleeping bag. So this bag, this compression sack, is what's made for you to transport it during your trip. So you throw it in your backpack, you know, the day that you leave on your trip, and this is what you store it in to get it really compressed, really down into your bag really far, you take a little less space. Um, this is not how you store it. So this is just used for the amount of time duration that you're out on your trip. So why is that? Why do you not store it in this? Well, a lot of people think that you would, can damage your bag if you leave it stored like this for a long period of time, a year, two years, whatever. I disagree with them on the fact that you can damage your bag. I think what happens is you can definitely train your bag to stay in a certain way um, and you can untrain it as well. Um, I've seen it myself because I have so many bags that I just don't have enough room to store them properly. So the ones that I store properly, like this, uh, or in their bigger actual storage sacks, um, those are the ones I use. The ones I don't, I store them like this. And all I do is, if you do it like that, you have to take it out of the bag. And then do nothing. Set it down and let it alone for two weeks. So if you stored it for over a year, just let it sit out for two weeks. It'll pluff back up and it'll be perfectly fine and back to normal. Now let's talk about how you should store your bag. I'll put a link down below, but this is just a big, you know, cotton storage, whatever, laundry storage sack. And I've used this to store sleeping bags for a long period of time. If you don't get a storage sack with uh, your bag, you can just buy one like this. I'll put a link down below, like I said, you guys can check it out. Um, but this is definitely the way to go. So you just simply undo this and you can see it's not compressed in here. Okay. It's just kind of sitting in there. Not super compressed, just loosely sitting in this bag. And yes, this bag takes up more room in your area, but this away, all you need to do is a few days before your trip, just get it out and let it fluff up. And then the day of your trip, put it in the compression sack, use it, bring it back, throw it back in here. Alternatively, what you can do is you can hang it up. That way it just sits, stays fluffy, and you know if you have a, a few sleeping bags, this works for you. Um, with me right now with testing, you know I have all these sleeping bags here, and it's taking up a lot of room. Normally, I just have the ones that I normally use. The rest of them, they kind of sit like this. And like I said, the ones that I don't normally use, they sit in a compression sack forever. So these are just simple hangers. These are wooden, as you can see here. And then I just kind of cinch up, you know, the hood around it, put it up on top, and hang it up. It's that simple. So don't be worried, a lot of people make you feel bad if you keep it in the compression sack for a long period of time. You definitely don't want to do that and then go out on your trip and then take your bag out. It's going to really not be that great. You'll probably have cold spots. It's not going to be the rating that it really is because the insulation is not puffed up. So if you do store it in the compression sack, just leave it out for two weeks before your trip. You should have a relatively puffed up bag by that point. Stuff it, go. If you're going to do it the right way, you know, store it in some sort of a storage bag. Almost every sleeping bag comes with a storage bag and a compression bag uh, or hang it up like this. That's how I do it. So those are my tips on how to store and also how to implement your bag when you're out uh, using them out on your trips in the wild. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you have a different way of storing your bags, go ahead and put it down below. Always interested in different ways. And until next time, later.